Spin loft is a combination of two vectors. You have dynamic loft. Dynamic loft is the actual loft of the club at the point of impact. And you have the second vector, which is attack angle. This is measuring whether you're descending or ascending on the ball. And the angle between the two is called spin loft. Now the ball travels on a launch direction closer to the dynamic loft than the attack angle. And the effect this has on the ball is this spin loft angle controls the backspin of the ball. Now the bigger the angle between the two, the more backspin you'll generate. The closer these are together, the less backspin you generate. When these get closer together, you create more compression on the ball. So if you're using something like a driver, which you want to launch up very, very high with very little spin, then you need these two angles pretty close together pointing more upwards. When you look at the top players hitting their irons far with that low penetrating flight, their typical loft is quite low on the club at impact. 16 degrees of loft on a 5-6 iron is not untypical with the tall players. So the combination of a low attack angle of negative three degrees and a dynamic loft of 16 degrees similar to that of a forward you're going to get a ball which is going to travel quite low initially with a moderate spin rate so the first thing to consider is reducing your dynamic loft at impact through forward shaft lean and a flat left wrist and an exercise you can do to practice that involves an alignment rod, connecting it to the club, placing it against your left side and practicing chip shots initially to learn to make sure that the rod doesn't come in contact with your left side, thus making the loft on the club reduce. So starting with chip shots first, and then building up to half swings and then three quarter swings from there. The second thing to consider is your attack angle. And in order to deal off the club, you don't want to make the mistake of increasing the steepness to attempt to reduce the dynamic loft. In doing so, you're going to increase the spin loft again and then generate the back spin. So, forward shaft lean, flat left wrist in a nice shallow arc through impact. <laughs> 